If you want your next smile page to look like this, then keep watching. Whether you guys just want to complete the achievements or get some more neck miles for the update, this is the video for you. I do also have another video focusing on these tasks, which are a bit more of an efficient way to get neck miles if you want them. So I have a video on that. So feel free to watch it. Not biased or anything, just subscribe, okay? So basically in this video, I am just going to be talking about these one by one. Um, most of these are links, so I'll be kind of talking about them at the same time. But I'll be talking through them and kind of saying how to get them faster. As you can see, I've got nearly all of them. I'm still missing just a few like here and here, but... Yeah, I've basically got all of them. So first one we got whatever your island name is, Miles. Obviously, if you've played Animal Crossing before, you've probably got this one so well done. Unless you've just reset your island, then, well, obviously, you need to grab your Switch and play. Next, we've got Fishing. It starts off with a nice 10, 100, 500, then it just randomly jumps to 2,000, then 5,000. It's a lot to do. You have to play a lot for this. But the way I like to do it is use fish bait and to craft fish bait you need clams and another source stamp thing is to collect clams. Look at that guys. You're probably going to end up crafting more since this page only expects you to collect 200 and also guys if you're bad at fishing don't worry it takes practice. At first I literally could not fish. I had to get my brother to do it for me when like CJ came to my island to do like them fish, fish quest things. And also speaking of CJ, it's best to fish when he comes around because he can give you extra bells so then you can spend your bells on this task. So obviously this requires you to spend 5 million bells. I'll get on to talking about that in a bit more detail in a sec. We don't want to rush things with this video. But yeah, playing on the days that he has his fishing tourney, that's pretty useful. I find it quite motivational to fish that day since all your villagers are doing it. And I think it is best to fish in the winter because then in summer you can focus on your bugs. So kind of the same thing here. You can't have... Um, bug bait it just doesn't exist unfortunately but the best bugs are to catch are probably butterflies so you should be playing between I would say 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. I think those are the best times because that's just when there's the most bugs and that um, obviously you can time travel you don't have to actually play during those time I'm often asleep during those times but anyway that's that's irrelevant, but again, when Flit comes to your island, catch bugs then, you can sell them to him, get more bells, and you can get bug models as well, which is pretty neat. So back to the fish one, this one is completing your Critopedia. I like to use the Animal Crossing Wikipedia page, I'll like put up the link for that and I'll put it in the description as well. Um, that website just has a bunch of information about animal animal crossing about all the fishes so for whatever month you're playing in so say november which is this month currently you'd go and see what fishes there are and then it says everything you need to know like what time you can catch them and that so the website also talks about bugs and then these sea creature things which is useful so the next one we've got is island togetherness just talk to your villagers and maybe as you're talking to them give them some fossils or something else so that you can get their photos but yeah this one's just talking to your villagers nice and easy the bug ones we kind of talked about that already and don't forget to donate your bugs and that to the museum um, I don't think you actually get anything from donating it to the museum, but it's just nice to complete it. I've nearly done mine, I just need to do the art section. This next one is collecting DIYs, and at first when you're playing, 200 seems like a lot, but then it really isn't. You can redeem with Nook Miles some DIYs, so for example, we've got the fences right here, and there should be a bunch of other ones underneath here. Obviously, I've already bought those, so you can't see it on my screen, but... It's just an easy way to get some. You can also get from talking to your villagers, the message in the bottle that you get, I believe, twice a day in AM and PM time. Or if you have the online membership, you can use Nickazon and get the DIYs from other people or steal them from your friends if they have any spares. As you can see, I have most of them here right now. 
and it did take a while to collect but it was really easy to get the 200 first. You can get seasonal recipes from balloons so right now in November these are the DIYs that you can get. There's a nice and useful seasonal tab for you guys if you want to check. You can also buy DIY recipes from Nick's Cranny as well. So next we've got deep diving and this is especially a great way to make bells. That's how I've paid off my entire house loan. I didn't really use turnips at first, which I do kind of regret because turnips do make you more money, but I did get this achievement quicker, so that was nice. And then same thing here, use this website to find out what time all these creatures are at. And obviously they're like seasonal, so you can only get specific ones in specific months, but you can time travel if you want to. For DIY tools, I recommend having this set up. One tree with nothing underneath it, ignore the mushrooms and damn that is a pine cone not a branch. There we go, you get branches from trees. You can get an infinite amount of branches which is kind of the key to this because basically when you place down your crafting table and your little bin close by to the tree you can just craft your um, tools. So obviously you're going to craft either a fishing net or a normal net because that only requires five sticks whereas all these other stuff like you require like a stone or something which is just too much and you're just basically gonna have to craft it give yourself like a day of just crafting DIYs even though I've like done all the fishing spent so much time already crafting like fishing nets shovels and that I literally have only done half of this so still quite a bit to go for me and then we've got DIY furniture same thing again with the branches but instead of crafting a net you can craft this campfire which only requires three sticks I believe this DIY recipe requires the least amount of things it's this one I also like to craft um, this little bamboo thing hold up wrong section this little bamboo thing only requires one and if you have a bunch of bamboo trees on your island um you know you can craft quite a bit even if even if you have a stack of bamboo one stack that's 30 pieces you can craft 30 of these and if you do that daily it adds up you know but i think these two will be easier with the new update since we're getting a bunch of like cooking diys and that so that will probably like speed up the process and just in general new diys we are getting everyone's probably going to be trying them out including myself next we got furniture freshener so that's just customizing stuff what you can customize is tools since it only requires one customization kit but honestly i wouldn't rush this one because I, I rushed it, like I just customized a bunch of random stuff for no reason, but I just basically wasted a bunch of customization kits for nothing. So if you need the Nick Miles desperately, then obviously do it, but I'm, I'm just saying I wouldn't rush this one since it is quite easy to do. Then we've got chopping trees. Again, when you're crafting a lot of stuff, this will kind of be easy. And with the bamboo trees, I do recommend doing a bamboo farm. I used to have one of those. But yeah, so you can get your crafting materials, craft your DIYs and that. But you are going to have to watch out for wasps. So make sure you got medicine from me. It's like really cheap to buy out next cranny if you're not bothered to craft it. The wasps will attack you. Then we've got trash tools. Obviously, just use them don't buy the ones from nook's cranny since they're literally more expensive and i don't even know they last longer but that's obviously not even the point with this nook miles achievement i guess you could use flimsy tools if you want to reach this one quickly but after that i would just use the normal tools because it's annoying having to recraft them so many times so likewise if you're not going to use the normal tools for this one don't use the gold ones as well then we've got hit a rock eight times so if you are hitting a rock like this like you hit like three times or something you are doing it wrong because obviously the maximum number you can get um of materials from a rock is a that's the whole sort of point of the achievement to get the maximum number so i'm going to show you guys how to do it you have to clear out everything that is in the way make sure that you block the area like so you're sort of standing in behind so i obviously just place down items but you can just dig a hole like this that will block you from moving back and i recommend using a shovel not an axe and then you just spam your A button and wow, I forgot this is the rock I just hit. Well, anyways, here's a clip of how you're actually supposed to do it without messing up like I just did. Might be a bit difficult when you've already made a rock 
farm but obviously you can just tear it down quickly then we've got find a fossil obviously this is one of the first ones you complete so you, this is pretty easy you just talk to blabbers and that then we've got more fossil assessments as 5, 30, 100, 300, 500. I completed my fossil section of the museum at around, at around 250 I believe it was. I can't properly remember but it was about halfway through of this nook stamp thing. And the rest of the fossils I just gifted to my villagers. So there should be around 6 fossils on your island a day. If you want more you can buy a nook mouse tickets, head to another island and just find all the fossils that are on that island. Um, but again if you're trying to grind nook miles you spending them on nook mouse tickets isn't going to be useful so yeah just look for the fossils on your island daily and it will be pretty easy to do so next we've got selling weeds and um, basically when you are villager hunting just collect all the weeds on every island you visit and this will be easy to do then we've got planting flowers obviously you just go do that next finally sells flowers or you can get them from leaf and actually the more flowers you have the higher rating your island will be so if you want to get a five star island you do need a lot of flowers watering flowers again you just got to do it if you manage to get the gold watering can um it's pretty useful because the wa gold watering can 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 water nine flowers at a time rather than six like the normal one and don't worry i'll explain how to get the gold tools at the end because there is another achievement for that by looking at these two stamps it only took me about two weeks to water 500 flowers so if you do it every day it's going to be easy planting trees just go to next cranny plant them easy and then we've got selling fruit so for this i recommend doing an orchard and then picking the fruit every three days or so however often they grow and selling them also when you uh, villager hunting and you fly to a secret nook miles island thingy with the dodo airport just shake all the trees down collect their fruit also coconut trees exist so don't forget that about those and say your island's native fruit is pears i recommend planting like whatever other fruit you have available like apples or whatever because those sell for a bit more bells then we've got planting each type of fruit so unfortunately you only have two available to you so you have your native fruit and then your sister fruit which you get from them extra nick miles tickets islands and your mom sends them to you in the mail when you first play and then obviously coconuts but that is it so you're gonna have to use knickers on or borrow them from a friend for this then we've got planting shrubs that is so easy i literally did this in one day selling shells just go to your beach pick up the shells sell them there's not really a quicker way of doing it just do it every day since the best time to do is in the morning when obviously all the shells i spawn in but they do spawn in during the day as well digging up clams it's just this if you didn't know when you find like this little thingy on the beach you dig that and then you get a clown as i mentioned just use it to craft fish bait to get fish trash fishing this will be very easy when you're doing a lot of fishing um you may find a trash island when you are villager hunting or something so that can like kind of speed up the process but again this is just something you do when you're fishing so you can't really speed that up this one's really hard to do you basically have to catch a hundred fish in a row without missing it's difficult but it's doable again if you're trash at fishing don't worry you just get better with practice when doing this one i would avoid the bigger sharks and that since those are harder to catch because they're just like more sensitive dream house that is basically being rich and paying off all your loans to tom nook for your house you just go use turnips for this one i did use a sea creature diving thing so obviously you can use the money uh, from selling your fish and that but turnips is the easiest way to go since it's just the fastest decorating your house so again s rank when you're decorating on a sunday morning in the mail you'll receive a letter from the happy home academy and they love to criticize your house so i actually managed to get a rank s even with like two empty rooms so i'm just going to show you guys quickly what's in my house so this is my main room i've got this very empty room it, it's literally a green screen room i use for my thumbnails i've got this bathroom so obviously matching furniture is going to get you them high points so if you've got like the wedding furniture use that in one room mermaid furniture use that in one room you get the idea and lots of stuff on the walls as well whatever you can find and just having like a color scheme in general so here i've gone with like pink blue purple so again i've got a lot of stuff on the walls and don't forget you can customize stuff you can mix and match furniture obviously here 
um, I've used mainly the cute furniture but I've got like this um, wooden furniture, these like chairs and that, a few random bits and pieces. And don't forget about like rugs and carpets and that. I've also got this room, it actually looks ugly but I mean Happy Home Academy likes it so it's fine. And then I've got this room with just some stuff on the walls because it didn't fit in my storage and a present I guess. But unlike the present I had downstairs, don't leave stuff on the floor that will make your rank go down. Hold reward, just put the furniture in your house, obviously you're going to do that when you're decorating. Then we've got good things to store and you need to put 300 things in your storage. That's easy, I've maxed it out, I'm so glad we're getting another um, storage expansion in the update. Then we've got remarkable remodeler, so when you pay off all your house loans like every single one of them, Tom Nook decides to be nice and lets you customise your house for free so I would just wait till then because there's no point of of wasting your bells. Smile Isle, this one's hard as you can see I've not done it. You basically have to talk to your villagers like when they're feeling sad to talk to them and sometimes they go up to you and be like wow Pearl was so nice to me today can you give her a present because I'm too shy. So you just go do it for them. Just basically do the things they ask you to do. Or if you find like a lost item on the floor like a book or like a bag or something give it to them. And then we've got reaction ruler. So you need different villager personalities on your island in order to get these and you have to get a high enough friendship level with them for them to like go up to you and teach you a reaction. Each personality teaches you different reactions and there's eight personalities so obviously get those. There's like special Halloween reaction, there's a few you can buy from the Nookstop ATM machine and resident services and you can get some in February for the festival event. I believe those you can time travel to get those so you don't actually have to wait till February. Take a photo of your phone, one of the first things you're gonna do, easy. Same thing, customize your passport photo, or not just your photo, but anyway, this is my passport if you are curious. Another basic one, you're using your Nook phone. For this one, you have to use your phone a lot. Use your camera, check the Chrysopedia a lot, use this DIY thing, Nook shopping, the island designer, literally everything, use that, that you're gonna have to keep opening it a lot. Shop to it, obviously, you just gotta do it, and I think after getting a hundred it was you unlock this app so you don't have to go to resident services to the ATM machine you just have it all right here my favorite thing to buy is the KK songs to complete them they're just like nice to have the seasonal stuff as well as these promotion items the Sanrio ones are really nice if you have the amiibo cards but you can also just get the Mario ones I really love those as well or villager posters or some other random stuff growing collection just have a large catalogue when you'll give to your villagers stuff they will give you the most random things back so that's actually pretty useful just buy stuff from able sisters next cranny you just kind of get more items the more you play really so you kind of just do that as you play Nook Miles for Miles is doing these tasks so I have a video on that as I mentioned at the start of how to do these so I'm not going to talk about it now. First time buyer, another basic one, you just buy something. Exactly the same thing with selling stuff. Another one for paying off your first loan which unfortunately is one of many. Alright so spending bells, so you have to get the bells in the first place which is through turnips. You get Nook Miles for buying them for the first time and for earning more money as you can see you can make 10 million bells the average price for like a stack of turnips is 100 bells so i would be reselling them at around 100 and 150 or over the highest i've ever got is i think 600 and something it can reach that high but it's quite rare and I wouldn't sell them under 150 unless it is literally like the last day and your turnips are about to spoil because they obviously only last a week. I one time unfortunately had this incident of uh, me spending 4 million bells on turnips and then they all spoil because I messed up time travelling. By the way you, can, you cannot time travel when you have turnips, they will rot. I learned that the hard way and turnip prices actually change twice a day. I didn't know that for a very long time. They change in the morning and in the afternoon, so a.m. and p.m. Or you could visit someone else's island, 
through Nukazon or just visit a friend's island for better prices. You can also buy this crown from the Able Sisters, it costs like a million bells so obviously that will help you spend money faster for this bell ringer one. And then there's this basic one again, you get at the start of playing Animal Crossing for paying off your loans, using your bulletin board. pen pal is a really dead one because you just gotta write a lot of letters to your villagers but I would do that as I'm villager hunting since I'm using the airport a lot and I just do a few a day like maybe five ten or if you're feeling like like it just do a bunch at a time and get this over with catch fleas of your villagers fleas are around in the summer not the winter I believe stick are the memories so you go catch one of these ones which are available in the summer so they're all July and August except for this one which is also available in September but then not July. Catching 5 wasps in a row. So when you are shaking your trees, you go up to the tree, stand at a 45 degree angle and with a net in your arms, not an umbrella, a net, okay? I just didn't have a net guys and I wasn't bothered to craft it. You stand like this, so if there is a wasp, you spam your A button until you catch it. That's a guarantee on how to catch wasps. So, when you're villager hunting, on every island there is one hidden furniture item in a tree. So that's when you're going to want to be shaking them trees with that net in your hand. So you can get that furniture item and as well as catch the five, five wasps in a row. And you need 100 furniture items to complete this Nook Miles achievement. So if you've been on a villager hunt longer than 100 tickets, you probably completed this already. You can also find two furniture pieces on your island a day. You can find the furniture items in these normal hardwood trees and the cedar ones but not the fruit ones or the bamboo ones or any other trees. Pity party is basically crafting this and using it. This is a pitfall seed and at first it seems like a weird item but basically you just bury it in the ground and when you walk into it it's like a sinkhole. So let me just demonstrate it for you guys. Um, there we go. Bury and hole. You can also push your villagers into it and it's actually pretty funny but um, I'm not bothered to do that. So I'll just walk into it myself, do a little demonstration. And yeah, that's kind of it. I should have walked in the other way so you can see my face. Uh, if you just spam the A button, you can get out, do a bit of backflip. So that's all you have to do to complete this achievement. Getting stung by wasps is an achievement as well. So you get nook miles in case you don't manage to catch five in a row. And you get nook miles if you get stung by a tarantula or a scorpion. Or if you fall into a pitfall seed, it could be from someone else's island or you just walking in into your own. You get nook miles for fake art, so that's probably going to happen because of red does not sell real art often but if you are looking for real art you can just google it when you go up to the painting you say it says like beautiful painting whatever you type into google animal crossing beautiful painting real or fake and look at the pictures and that way you know if it's real or not again these don't really require much explaining these just pretty much happen when you play so lost treasure when a balloon unfortunately falls into a lake but the more balloons you catch the better so the best time to catch balloons is on bunny day because you get like the extra ones with the eggs and that but um, obviously if you don't want to time travel just catch them normally if you want to grind some balloons you go up to a villager house or any other building with a chimney and you look at what direction the wind is blowing so right now it's going from right to left so I would go to this side the direction the wind is blowing against from and I would just wait for a balloon to pop up um, they spawn every five minutes so I, I, I would just have my net out and wait for them to come I did that when I was grinding my cherry blossom DIYs in April because I desperately wanted them fun with fences just place them down this is easy you get no mouse for crafting them and that so then this one is making snowboys they are very difficult to do actually so to make a perfect snowball you have to make the first snowball the bottom one to the top of your ears and then the second one 
to the height of the bottom of your ears and then just stack them on top of each other and it should come out as a perfect one but I mean they can be a bit hard to do. There's a few different ways to making them but that's just the easiest method in my opinion. For wishes come true you can do this on your island or someone else's island and you can do this at in one night so Tom, Nick or Isabel in the morning announcement will be like wow we've got shooting stars today so after 7pm you can do that you look up in the sky and press A that's literally it and I'd be like watching YouTube or Netflix at the same time and have my volume on a bit louder so when I hear the shooting stars it's like this sparkling noise type thing um, I would just press the button then but this doesn't work with drifty joy-cons so make sure you get them like cleaned and that place down an item outside easy once five villagers move into your island um your little resident tent will become resident services so then you can customize your map and your island tune so you just talk to isabel about that then there's terraforming waterscaping and like placing down paths so you do have to spend nook miles to get it but then you get nook miles back so it's fine and you can de decorate your island and make it look all pretty with the path and that for these next few ones you just go talk to these npcs so wisp he shows up at night so um yeah play at night basically past i think it might be 8 p.m for wisp not 7 p.m unlike with celeste who shows up when they're shooting stars look for gulliver on the beach he's this like dead seagull and even though he does a lot of talking he gives you cool diys and that and furniture items kk manny you just go listen to kk slider sing every week you can do this once your island reaches Three stars so just make sure you have no weeds lots of flowers lots of bushes not too many trees though but also some trees lots of furniture items and yeah i think that's all you need to get a free star island and fences the three f's are the most important so flowers fences and furniture you can time travel to do this but this one will literally take like a year to do i think the next stamp for me is a hundred as you can see i haven't even done this one i still need to do quite a few and then this one's difficult because red always gives you fake artwork but as i said earlier you can just google it to see if it's fake or not and you can trade with other people on nickerson and that but they do sell it for quite a lot on there so yeah i'd i just stick with the googling part the otter you know so when you're going for your deep sea creature diving you're probably gonna see pascal and then he gives you really cute mermaid furniture as you saw in my house earlier so um, yeah, I think that's quite an easy one to do. You only have to talk to him 20 times, so that will take like 20 days, or if you decide to time travel. For true friends, you just go talk to your friends to increase your friendship points to become best friends. You can also gift them things. They make your friendship points go up and just interacting with them in general for birthday celebrations when you get a campsite villager i would just check their birthday to see if it's soon and if it is i would take them to then obviously celebrate their birthday or you could also visit a friend's island of their villager celebrating a birthday then we've got playing on on your birthday it's actually really nice because your villagers give you a bunch of presents which we love for the fishing turn you just go wait till it comes up because it's like an event so you can time travel for it both because it's not time locked at all same for this one but the bug off is only in the summer then we've got playing on new year's eve which is sort of coming up soon which also kind of scares me because 2021 is nearly ending then there's an easy one just change your outfit make your first custom design i do believe you have to redeem the app with nick miles for this but it's not expensive and you go pay for the pro version but again it's not expensive pay dirt so once a day on your island like some random money spawns in the ground it will look like this so obviously you dig it up get your bells and what you guys can do is not cover the hole back up but take 10,000 bells and no more than 10,000 and you just plant it and then a money tree will grow so it's like a normal fruit tree but instead of fruit there's bells so you can get 30,000 bells at most shady shakedown we talked about so then we've got the golden tools i'm missing one but i don't know how to get it so for the net you have to catch all the bugs so complete your critopedia same thing for the fishing net and then we've got the 
golden watering can so you have to get to five stars so it's kind of similar w with how you get to three stars but you need even more flowers even more furniture even more fences you use a bunch of paths like do some terraforming and that just decorate your island a lot for the golden slingshot you have to uh, pop a lot of balloons and eventually you will see a golden balloon so you have to pop that and then get the DIY the golden axe you think of yourself so after chopping a certain amount of wood um, your character just like does this reaction type thing and they're like wow I came up with a new DIY and it's basically this and um, for the golden shovel you have to talk to Gulliver 30 times and on the 30th time once you like help him fix his phone he will give you the recipe for the golden shovel. For this one you've just got to find a friend to visit an island. Same the other way around, get your friend to visit your island. You do need two switches for these so like obviously one's yours, one's your friend's or you could just play with someone randomly on the internet through like Nickazon or something but obviously for Nickazon you would need an online membership because that's not local play, that's online play. And play for 300 days, so just log in and do all of these tasks. And wow, I did a lot of talking in this video. I hope this video helped you guys kind of get motivated and know how to complete these a bit better. And I hope you can get the Nook Miles for the update. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment down how many more achievements you have to complete to do all of them. And then I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye guys!